There are a few videos on YouTube about distance grabbing in Oculus, but they all seem to be out of date. The ones that I've tried do not work. And so, in this video, I'm going to be using the latest version of the Oculus integration package, version 16, and the latest Unity 2019.3.12 F1. Just about every Oculus integration package update seems to break this. And so hopefully this will be the last one that has to be made. First things first, I'm going to start a new Unity project completely from scratch and import the Oculus integration package. Once again, I will be importing Oculus Integration Package version 16, which is the latest version. Now go into File, Build Settings, switch the platform to Android, and then go into the Player Settings, enable VR and add the Oculus Package. Go into Other Settings and remove the Vulkan API. So the first thing is we're going to start out with an empty plane, free 3D plane, and I'll set the scale to 10, tab 10, tab 10. And then on top of this, we can add some objects that we're going to be grabbing. Now the first thing is uh, we're going to use some prefabs first and then I'll show you some more detail after that. So let's type in distance and this will pull up everything that we're going to need uh, to work on distance grabbing. So the first thing is let's add in some distance grab wood block prefabs and I'm going to do this first just to show you that this works and then we can add just a cube and then add all the attributes that it needs to work with distance grabbing. The main thing that it does need is the is the box collider, rigid body, and the distance grabbable script. So I'm going to grab this and put it into the scene. Press F to focus on it, and we can make a bunch of these. So let's just do Control C, Control V. Let's move that over. Control V. You can set this to any scale you want. I wouldn't recommend going above 0.5 because then it just gets weird when you pick it up and it goes into your camera. So now I'm going to grab all of these, and we're going to copy and paste it upwards, upwards again, and upwards one more time. So these are all the objects that we're going to be able to grab. And when you're working with distance grabbing, you need to put all these objects in a single layer. And so the first thing that you want to do is go into the layer attributes uh, let's select all the blocks first. So shift and then select all of them. We'll go into layer and choose add layer. And this will be layer 8 and it will be called grabbable. So now all of these blocks are in the grabbable layer, which is layer 8. So we're going to have to remember it's layer 8. So the next thing that we want to do is add the OVR player controller. So we're going to search here again, OVR player player controller, and then this is also a prefab. This is one of the primary prefabs used for the Oculus integration. And we're going to move this above the ground level a little bit. We can move it to wherever we would like. I just clicked F to focus. Then the next thing that we want to do is open up OVR Player Controller, go into OVR Camera Rig, Tracking Space, and we're going to work with the left hand and right hand anchor. So now we're going to search back in the project again for all the distance objects, distance grabbing objects, and we're going to first choose the left hand prefab and drag that into left hand anchor. 
And then we're going to do the same thing for the right hand, and we're going to grab that into right hand anchor. Now each of these have a distance grabber script attached, and we're going to need to make sure that the grab objects in layer is selected for layer 8. These are all the uh, blocks that we put in layer 8. And then you also want to make sure that you choose use sphere cast. And then you want to do the same thing for distance grab hand right, use sphere cast, and grab objects in layer 8. Next you'll notice that the hand script is missing an animator, so choose the dot here and we'll add right hand, skeletal low res for the right hand, and we'll do the same thing for the left hand, left hand skeletal low res. Next we're going to have to create a new object uh, which will basically tell your character what the items that are in range. And so we can go into OVR player controller, just right click on that and choose create empty. And then the game object that it just created, we can rename this to grab manager. Inside of this we'll add a component We'll add two components. The first component is the grab manager script. And this is something that is provided by Oculus. And then the next component that we'll add is a sphere collider. Uh, it helps the engine decide which objects are in range and which objects it should check for if they're in range. And you can change the radius to match uh, whatever you'd like. Just make sure that this grab manager is under the hierarchy of OVR player controller. So when you move the player controller, it also moves the sphere. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. You also want to make sure that this is at the position 0, 0, 0, and so that it is in the center of OVR player controller. You also want to make sure as well that the distance grab hand left is rotation 0, 0, 90 and position 0, 0, 0, and that the right hand is 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, negative 90. Also, the last thing that I forgot is that you want to make sure in Grab Manager under the Sphere Collider that Is Trigger is enabled. Now we're going to go under the left hand again and we're going to have to edit the Parent Transform and Player. The Parent Transform you're going to go over and drag the left hand anchor into Parent Transform. Next you're going to grab OVR Player Controller and drag that into the player slot. Now you're going to do the exact same thing with distance grab hand right. We're going to move right hand anchor into parent transform and OVR player controller into player. Before I show you how you would make a custom grabbable object, distance grabbable object such as these cubes we're going to go ahead and test this to make sure it works. Now let's try to build and run and see what happens. The blocks are a lot smaller than I anticipated, but everything else works. The only thing that's difficult in this is that since they're so small, you have to point exactly at the block to pick it up. And what you'll do is point with your index finger. So before I go on to the custom blocks, or just a block that you can pick up and we'll add the custom attributes that's needed. I'm going to actually make these bigger just to show you what it should look like. So I'm going to move all these out, space them out, and enlarge them. So I'm going to set all of these to 0.5 Now let's build and run this one last time, see what it looks like. 
And it looks a lot better now. And it's a lot easier to select which objects you're trying to pick up. So last thing is what to show you how to use just a cube instead of one of these distance grab wood block prefabs. So let's go into game object, 3D object, and cube. Now it already has some of the components needed such as the box collider. First of all, we'll add the distance grabbable script. And then we also need part of the physics. We need a rigid body. Now in the rigid body for the collision detection, make it continuous dynamic. This will make it more realistic. And the other thing we need to make sure is that these are in the right layer. And so let's put that layer to layer eight for grabbable. And now we can build and run and see what it looks like. So that about covers it for this tutorial. I hope that you liked it and I hope you gained some valuable knowledge from it. I know a lot of this is the same, but there is a lot of different things that need to be changed in order to make this work with the newest Oculus integration package. One thing that would make this demo better would be adding crosshairs so you can see which object you're selecting before you grab it, but that would be a separate tutorial. And also there already are some tutorials on this and that shouldn't be different with this Oculus integration package. Thank you all for watching and please subscribe and hit that bell.